Hey guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Thank you so much for watching me today. Okay, today I want to talk about psychics, how we get our information and why it can be wrong. Okay, so today I'm going to address a email that I got from a male and I'm going to read what he said, but I'm going to keep him private. Okay, so his email says, pardon me, you predicted two months ago when I asked, when will I meet my future wife with a name? It's now two months ago. Nothing happened. Your predictions were wrong. Well, let's address this. So when we, as a psychic, I'll tell you how I get my information. Because we all do our own thing differently and uniquely, you know. It's like any of the abilities that we have, we all have our own way of doing what we do. So that's why we've got to firstly find our own niche in how we do an ability, okay? But with me, I'm just going to explain how I get information. I actually get connected to an object, a person, etc., regardless of time. Time will never work. You can't say ever to a psychic, go in two days at three o'clock, this will happen. Okay, that's the first thing. So when I said to this male that you'll meet, that he'll meet his future wife in two months, I was actually suggesting one of the possible futures uh, that could happen that were I was connected to, which means that there is a higher possibility of it coming true, okay? Now, when I talk about future possibilities, right now, as I'm talking on the computer, I have 50 trillion future possibilities of what could occur when I press the stop button. I could go into my kitchen, I could go to the bedroom, I could go and have a sleep, I could go and do a reading, I could get in the car and go to 50,000 different places. So there's all these future possibilities that I create under my own free will, okay? As a psychic though, external to this male, when he said to me, I've got this woman I'm, I've been told I'm going to meet, straight away I can get this connection to her, but it doesn't mean he'll meet her, okay? A couple of possibilities here. Let's go into the first one. First one is he may not be there at that exact moment when she was at that location. So it's a missed opportunity, but I still saw it as a future possibility if he was there at that synchronicity, because remember the whole world revolves around synchronicities, right? So it's a synchronicity that he has to be at the exact place at the exact right time to actually meet that person. So we have to look at our own free will. We say to ourselves, okay, I've got to go to the shop today. But we could go now, we could go in half an hour, we could go in two hours, we could go after school, we could go after work, we could go after dinner, after lunch. There's all these future possibilities in play, but it all comes down to ultimately our own free will if we go ahead with it, right? So we get a connection to a future place or person, okay? And that's how a psychic gets our information. All right. Now, the other thing I don't really like telling people when they're going to meet their future person, their future partner, because of this simple fact, it works through connections. So I'm going to use pens here, right? Here's me talking to someone else. Okay, you've got two pens. So I say, if you go to this hotel on Friday night, you're going to meet a guy in a bright red shirt and his name is Tim, okay? So along she goes to the hotel and at the bar, when she walks in, she sees this guy in a bright red shirt and she goes up to him and he says, oh, what's your name? And he says, hello, I'm Tim. Does that mean that I saw Tim was her future possibility? No, it doesn't because Tim may have a friend 
who's about to come in two hours to pick him up to take him home, called Dave. So she goes to the pub to interact with Tim because I saw him as that connection, but he is connected to Dave, who she was really supposed to be with. Does that make sense for you? So whenever I say to anybody, I can see you going somewhere, you're looking for this woman, she's in a bright red dress, she's got long blonde hair, and her name starts with an S, I can see an S, okay? Doesn't mean that's the person for you, it's just the one that you're connected to. So she may have a roommate, a co-worker, sister, auntie, cousin, best friend that she's connected to that you're supposed to meet as well okay so that explains that time on the other hand huh, i personally don't do time i still live in a place where time does not exist it's called heaven okay so when i tell people future possibilities i try to give an estimate unless i'm hearing specific dates or um, information dates months years okay so if I say to someone oh yes you want to you're going to be moving by September is it September this year so we've got to put that into play okay because I could hear oh yeah she'll be moving in September but that may be September in two years time okay and if it's about a house selling then you know, there's usually a few months from the time that someone looks at it until the finalization of the paperwork. So I could say to somebody, oh yes, you're going to have some interest in April, but that could be just when you have the open house, not, not when someone actually signs a contract eight weeks later, if you know what I'm talking about, okay? So when we're talking to a psychic, we must remember one fundamental clause psychics are never 100% accurate if what I did as a psychic if it was always on and if it was always right then the government would have it as one of their accredited courses that we could do first of all there would be insurance oh yeah because then there would be liability if someone said, oh, yes, you've got to you be careful, you're going to break your leg in two days' time. And then if they broke their leg and they didn't listen to the psychic, then the you know, ramification of insurance, right? And then we've also got regulators, you know, um, like health regulators overseeing um, medical boards, etc. Do you ever see a psychic board regulating psychics? It can't occur. If anyone ever says that they're on a board of psychics, uh, please know that it can't be done because psychic information is not guaranteed. You know you take your car to a mechanic and they say it's guaranteed for three months to work? Or you get someone in to repair your fridge and they say, oh yeah, I'll give you a three-month warranty? It's a guarantee that it's going to work. With psychics, there's never a guarantee, okay? So, knowing that there's no guarantee, knowing that it doesn't always happen the way we say it does, doesn't mean that we don't get some things right, right? Okay? But ultimately, we can't go through our lives expecting what we're told by a psychic to be real. Always... Trust your own instincts. Always trust your own gut. And most of all, always trust your own free will. That if you put out your own energy and you put it out there like this guy wanting a future wife. So if he's looking after himself and creating that space for her in his heart and home, physical and non-physical heart and home then she will be attracted to come in when she's on that right vibrational plane it all starts within ourselves guys don't rely on other people to tell us 
who or what we should do. Don't ever do that, okay? So I encourage and I will support anybody, but please remember, it all comes down to you to manifest the future that you want to create. And I hope that's given you some insight today. Okay, happy to talk to you. Email is below if you want to contact me. Talk soon. Bye.